Hey guys, so today I decided that I would film my acne coverage foundation routine and before we get started I have a few things I want to say so just brace yourself for a long intro and I just want to start off by saying that this isn't the easiest video for me to be filming. I do struggle with my skin and I've been debating on filming this video for a while but I decided finally that I would just film it and put it out there in hopes that it'll help someone else. So I know even for me personally these videos have helped me out in the past with like tips and tricks for dealing with my own problematic skin. So yeah, this was kind of hard for me to film. When you have acne, it's kind of a scary thought to put yourself and your naked face out there on the internet in HD where anyone can see it, but I'm just really doing this in hopes that it helps someone out there. So I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of background on my skin and my skin type really quick just so you can have a better idea of why I choose the products I do and if you have similar skin to me then you'll kind of have an idea of if these products are going to work well for you too maybe. So I do have very very oily skin, I also have extremely sensitive skin as well, my skin gets irritated very easily and I do suffer from a combination of a few different types of acne. I do mostly have cystic acne but I also get small, um, just more like simple breakouts that come to your head and then I do get some like congestion and clogged pores and things like that. Don't really get blackheads too much because I do cleanse and exfoliate my skin really meticulously. But yeah, most of my acne is cystic and it is from hormonal and internal factors. So a lot of things like sleep, stress, just everything like that, like period, that kind of thing, are what contributes mostly to my acne and I do mostly break out in my like chin and jaw area. Recently, this winter, my skin has been kind of worse than it ever has been. I've been breaking out on my cheeks a lot, which I've never really experienced. It's all usually been contained to this area where you typically see hormonal breakouts. But I have been breaking out on the rest of my face a little bit as well. And I have struggled with acne since I was very young. First time I remember kind of having breakouts on my face, I was probably around like 11 or 12. Around the time I was 15, my acne started to get a lot worse and a lot more serious. And it's been kind of a roller coaster ride ever since then. I'm now 20 years old, so for the past five years I've been struggling on and off with pretty serious acne. And I also just want to say that while I know I don't have the worst acne in the world, it is something that I suffer with and it is something that's severe enough that it does affect my confidence. And I'm going to be totally honest with you guys and say that I'm not super confident going out in public with completely no makeup on my face and I don't really like being seen with no makeup on which I know sounds really bad and I look at these other girls on YouTube who have acne and they're totally confident filming without makeup on and going out in public without makeup on and I'm so happy for people who feel that way but for me personally I'm just not in a place with my skin where I do feel confident going out into the world barefaced. And I just wanted to let you guys know that it's okay if you feel that way too. It's okay if you find comfort in wearing foundation and concealer and just making your skin look better if you're not 100% confident with it. Because I often feel like kind of the odd one out and I kind of feel like sometimes I should feel bad because I'm not confident in my skin and I prefer wearing makeup. But I just want to let you guys know that that's totally okay if you feel that way. Acne sucks and no matter what age you are, if you're a teenager or even if you're like an adult struggling with acne, it's something that really takes a toll on your confidence and can make you feel insecure. So if makeup makes you feel better about your skin, then that's totally cool. You know, I've been called a cake face and I've been told to wear less makeup and I've been told it looks like I'm wearing a mask and crap like that. Um, but, and that makes me feel really bad, of course. It makes me feel awkward and insecure, but makeup makes me feel better about my skin. And I just want to let you guys know that if you're not in a place with yourself where you can feel confident not wearing makeup, then it's just totally okay, as I've said like three times now. Um, because it just takes time to feel confident in yourself and appreciate your own natural beauty. And if you're not at that place in your life and you want to use foundation to make yourself feel a little bit better about blemishes and scarring and anything like that then it's okay because one day you will feel confident in yourself and you'll be okay without wearing makeup. I promise you it will happen one day. But yeah, I kind of just went off on a huge tangent there. But yeah, I just really want to stress that you don't have to feel bad if you like wearing makeup and if it makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. It's okay. That's what makeup is for. It's meant to enhance your natural beauty. And I know that it sucks when you have problematic skin and then you're made to feel bad for covering it up on top of that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started with the makeup now. I do wear really full coverage makeup on a pretty much daily basis just because I do work in cosmetics I work in skincare and I want to make my skin look as good as possible and I just want to say because I know someone's gonna comment and be like 
all that makeup you're wearing is just making your skin worse. But when you have acne in its truest form, when you're like constantly breaking out, it's not due to makeup. And I know all the products I use do not make me break out. Wearing makeup can clog your pores and it can give you like small breakouts, but when you have continuous acne, it's not due to makeup. Like I said, for me, it's due to like hormonal and internal factors. And I can control it and minimize it as much as I can, but I still break out just because it's kind of out of my control. And I never sleep in my makeup. I always really thoroughly remove my makeup with a cleansing oil and a regular cleanser as well to make sure I'm getting everything off and none of it's sitting in my pores overnight. So yeah, I just wanted to say that the makeup I wear isn't causing my acne. But yeah, now comes the scary part. It's going to be my naked face on your screen. Um, yeah, I just struggle with my skin, so please be positive and be kind in the comments. I also have really extremely thin, short eyebrows that I'm trying to like grow back in and get them fuller looking right now, so pretty much all this going on is an illusion right now. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the actual foundation routine. Alright, so this is my skin currently without any makeup on at all, and I just want to say that my skin actually looks a lot worse currently than it actually is. Pretty much all of this is just scarring left over from old breakouts. I only have like one or two actual active breakouts on my face right now, and the rest is from breakouts that have already healed and gone, and they're healed up and have just left pigmentation behind, which still really sucks. It doesn't look good at all. But I know that my scarring does fade over time and also the pigmentation is a lot easier to cover and conceal than actual like texture and like real breakouts. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that most of this is totally flat. There's not a ton of texture on my skin aside from the odd breakout I do have at the moment. Like I said, I have no makeup on my face currently. All I've done is gone ahead and applied my morning skincare, which I start off with the Fresh Umbrian Clay Mattifying Serum. I just focus this on my T-zone where I do get the most oily and it just helps to kind of keep my makeup in place all day and it's also meant to minimize pores as well and then for moisturizer I talked about this in my uh, January favorites but it is the origins ginseng vitamin C moisturizer it's oil free really lightweight and really helps to brighten up my skin and then the last thing that I use today is just the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy. This eye cream is awesome. It actually has like a pink brightening pigment to it, so I use it in place of a corrector. And it just really applies beautifully under concealer. And just to get the best application with my makeup, I try and let my skincare absorb for 10 minutes to half an hour before I go in and apply any foundation. Just to get the best application results, I find that's kind of the perfect time frame. Because if you're applying it directly after, your makeup just kind of slides off your face if there's too much moisturizer on the surface of your skin and then if you wait too long you don't have a nice smooth surface to work with basically and I know it's not always ideal to let your makeup or not your makeup but your skincare absorb for that long like if you're in a rush in the morning like rushing off to school or work you don't always have that extra time but if you really want to get the best make makeup application and you have that time to spare I'd recommend waiting in that time period so I've already clipped my hair back and let everything soak in, so we're going to go ahead and start off with primer. And one thing I want to mention is that I have freshly washed my hands. I always wash my hands before touching my face, even if you're not acne prone, that's just a good habit to get into so you're not spreading any bacteria. But the primer I use is the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer, and I use the shade Fair. This is just a tinted primer, it comes in six different shades, I believe. This one, it's not a perfect shade for me, it does end up looking a little bit ashy, but I'm covering it up with foundation afterwards anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So what I do, I just dot this along my forehead, my nose, my chin, and then my cheeks. And I just go ahead and start blending this in with my fingers. I'm gonna get my hair back. <laughs> So blend this in with my fingers and just kind of smooth it all out. I like this as a primer because it acts as another really light layer of coverage for me. And as you can see, it just kind of lightly evens out any slight redness on my skin. And I actually use this step instead of going in after my foundation and concealing breakouts because I find this with my foundation is enough. But I'll get to that a little bit more in a few minutes here. Okay, so then once I've got that all blended out smoothly, I wait a couple minutes just to kind of let it set on its own so then when I'm applying my foundation on, it's not like caking up or anything like that. And the foundation I use is also from Tarte. It's their Amazonian Clay 12 hour uh, full coverage foundation. And I use the shade Ivory. If you didn't already know, Tarte is my favorite brand and I'm obviously not sponsored by them or anything, but if you have similar skin to me and have issues with your makeup staying on all day, I highly recommend checking out Tarte. Their products work extremely well for 
for me and I'm just a big fan of the brand in general and I think their products are definitely worth the money so I just get about like a pea sized amount on the back of my hand here and depending on the day, I use a few different things to apply it, like I kind of alternate between a few different things. Um, what I'm going to be using today is my Sigma F80 brush. And I'm sorry, my brushes are dirty. I was going to wash them, but I totally forgot and ran out of time. And this brush takes like two full days to dry. But this is just a flat top, super dense foundation brush. Or if I'm not using that, I'll use my Real Techniques buffing brush. Or sometimes I'll even use the Beauty Blender to apply this foundation and all of them work out really well. So that's a few different options if you're trying out this foundation. But like I said today, I am using the Sigma F80. I really like this brush because it is so flat and dense. It really truly gives you that full coverage look or whatever foundation you're using. It'll really give you like the true coverage that that foundation is meant to have. And I really like something that I can buff this foundation in with because it does have a mineral base, I believe. So the more you buff it in, the more it's going to have a more kind of, not luminous, but it'll have a nice natural light reflecting quality on your skin. Whereas if you apply it with like your fingers, it's going to look very heavy and matte. So I just start off by picking up a little bit of this foundation on my brush. And I always start off on the right side of my face, I don't know why. But I start off on my cheek, and I just go ahead and start buffing and blending it in. And as you can see, just from that little bit, it provided really great coverage. And then in my chin and jaw area, I just use kind of like downward sweeping motions just to keep everything smooth and so it doesn't accentuate any like peach fuzz I have in that area. And I tend to get foundation all over my lips, so just ignore the fact that I'm probably going to look like a ghost by the end of this. And here for my forehead, I just hold back any little baby hairs that I have, so I'm not getting any foundation in my hair. And I'm just once again buffing everything in. And then I'm just going in and taking kind of the remainder and adding a little bit more coverage around my nose and just right in this area here where I tend to get a little bit more redness. And then I kind of just take any excess and I just blend this down my neck as well. And then I just kind of go around and just make sure everything is buffed in and I don't have any harsh lines. Okay, so I just quickly went in and removed any of the foundation that had gotten on my lips in that process because it really bugs me having that there. Um, but this is just one light application. I guess I shouldn't say light application. I applied a fair amount. But this is just one kind of coat of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. As you can see, it has really, really great coverage. It doesn't cover up like this huge breakout I have right now or any of my like particularly dark scarring. But I'm really, really happy with the coverage that this foundation gives. So then we're going to move into concealing, and like I said, I don't really use concealer on my face. I used to, for like a really long time, go in and conceal each individual breakout that was still showing through after doing my foundation, but it's just way too time consuming when you have problematic skin. And also when I stopped doing that, I found my skin got a lot better. So I've just stopped doing that. If I am going to conceal a breakout though, I use the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I use shade one, which is the lightest shade. It's just super long wearing, sets really matte, and yeah, just super long wear, waterproof concealer. But I'm not going to be using that today because my skin's not too bad, I don't feel the need to. But for my under eyes, I have been using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer that came out last month or so. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you're probably like, where's your NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that's your holy grail? I use that concealer on my under eyes for one year straight, I didn't use anything else. And I'm addicted to makeup, so I just felt the need to try something new, so I have been testing this out. I don't know if it's like favorite status yet, but I have really been liking it. So like I said, I use this to conceal my under eye. The applicator for this is like a flat sponge tip applicator. And this concealer is quite liquidy, so it does tend to hold on to quite a bit of product. So I don't add a ton, I'll just do one swipe under my eye. 
Okay, so just one swipe like that is all I need. I probably don't even need that much, but I go ahead and I start tapping this in with my ring finger. And I do like really bright highlighted under eyes, so I do tend to go a shade lighter with my concealer. And I forgot to mention this is in the shade Fair Neutral, which is also their lightest shade. Of course. <laughs> so I just go ahead and tap this in. I blend it down around the corners of my nose too, where like I said, I do get quite a bit of redness. And I just bring this a little bit up under my lid as well, just to conceal any veins and discoloration I have on my lid. So then once I have it kind of smoothed out and placed the way I want it to, I actually just continue tapping in with my ring finger, but at this point I will only, I have a little hair on my face, I will only tap inwards into my eye and this is a really great um, quick tip if you do have any kind of like creasing or fine lines under your eyes. Just because if you're smoothing everything outward, it's just going to settle it all into any lines and creases. And when you're patting it inward, you're kind of solving that problem. So really great tip if you do experience creasing with your under eye concealer. And I just do this a lot, as you can see, just to ensure that I'm not getting any creasing. Okay, so that is one I done. As you can see, there is a pretty noticeable difference. This eye is just a lot brighter and a lot more highlighted. So I'm just going to go in and repeat the exact same steps on the other side. Alright, so that is both under eyes concealed. As you can see, it does make quite a big difference. And then, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but just on like the bridge of my nose here, I do tend to get a lot of redness as well. And for some reason, I can never get just my foundation to kind of stick to that area and keep everything covered. So what I do is I take whatever concealer I use for my under eyes and I just do a little swipe down my nose as well. And then lately what I've started doing probably for the past month or so is I do some concealer on my forehead in kind of like a triangle shape there. A little bit on my cupid's bow and then also a little bit on my chin as well. Just because if I was just applying it under my eyes and on my nose it would look kind of weird since I do use a concealer, like I said, that's a shade lighter than my skin tone. Just because it'd be a lot of brightness right centered in the center of my face. I meant to say focused in the center of my face. And I just do this to kind of balance everything out. And it also creates an illusion of light down the center of my face to kind of elongate my face. And so to blend this out, I do use the Beauty Blender. This is seriously the only thing I found that will actually get that concealer to stick on my nose and conceal the redness. So I just start stippling that in. forehead as well. I'm getting more makeup on my lips. I put a little bit too much on my chin so it's looking a little bit too bright. Gotta blend that out a little bit more. So once that's all blended out I'll go ahead and just kind of smooth out the areas around where I applied my concealer just to make sure once again there's no harsh lines and just to pick up any excess product if I've applied a little bit too much. Okay, so that is what that looks like all blended in. As you can see, it just kind of balances everything out. So like I said, it's not like, boom, like bright under eyes and then the rest of my face is a shade darker. So then I'm going to go in and set everything. And I've also been using the new Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation to set my makeup recently. And I did talk about this in my February favorites as well. I wear the shade Fair Cool in this powder. And one thing that's kind of weird, I don't know how well it'll pick up on camera, but when I apply this foundation, it looks like it's not the right shade for me at all. It just looks a little bit too dark and it has kind of like a weird like peachy, like orange tone to it almost. But then after like five or 10 minutes or so, I don't know if it oxidizes lighter or if that's even possible, but it ends up blending in perfectly and being the exact right shade for me. So I just apply this with an F30 large powder brush. If you watched my favorites video, you'll see that I mentioned that when you tap into it, there is a lot of like powder flying off and like a lot of loose powder kind of forming, I guess. So I like this brush because it's like as large as the powder itself. 
so it picks up any product that's kind of flying off of it. So I just tap that into the powder and then I just start tapping it on my face as well. And I know this is a lot of layers of coverage, um, but like I said, I don't use concealer on my actual breakouts. So if I were using concealer too, I'd probably use like a translucent setting powder just because this would be a lot of makeup. So yeah, just tap this all over, focusing on the areas where I do need a little bit more coverage. And then I just bring it down my neck as well. Yeah, I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but it's like slightly off in color. But like I said, it kind of like adjusts and it ends up looking totally fine in a couple minutes from now. So then my final step is to set my under eye concealer. Um, I don't like using my powder foundation for this or whatever powder I'm using to set my makeup because it tends to get a little bit heavy and a little bit cakey on my under eyes. So what I've been using recently is this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder in the shade Light. This is pretty much a translucent setting powder, but they do have three different shades in case you are a deeper skin tone and like white setting powders tend to look a little bit ashy on your skin so that's really cool I just use the shade light of course and I really like this because it does have a really nice light reflecting quality to it and it also it just keeps it keeps your makeup looking like skin you know never looks heavy or cakey and it's just really brightening and glowy on the skin which is really nice so to apply this I actually use this elf blush brush which is kind of small and thin um, for my personal preference for a blush brush so I've been using this to set my under eyes and I really like it because it's not the best quality brush it doesn't pick up too much product but it still gets the job done so just never looks heavy I'm just picking up a little bit of the setting powder from cover FX and then I'm just tapping this on my under eyes And I like to do this last after my under eye concealer has already set on its own. I find if I go in and set my under eyes right away while my concealer is still not damp but it's still like sticky I guess then it kind of cakes up and looks weird. So I just like to let everything set on its own beforehand. And then I just take a little bit of this in the center of my forehead, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and in my chin too, just anywhere. I apply excess concealer just to make sure it's really definitely set in place. So yeah, that wraps up my foundation routine. That is all the steps I take when I want a really flawless, full coverage look. And I'm going to get a little bit closer up here so you can see just how good the coverage really is. I feel like even though I do have really full coverage too, it doesn't look super, super like cakey or heavy or made up or anything like that. It still looks more like skin kind of. And I forgot to mention one of the reasons I like this powder so much is because it does look natural on the skin. It has like a demi matte finish. So I'd really recommend this if you're more like combination to oily skin and you need some oil control especially in your t-zone but you don't like a super matte flat finish this is a really awesome setting powder for that but yeah that is my entire foundation routine for covering acne and scarring and i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and i'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes all right so i went ahead and i finished up the rest of my makeup i have my brows back again i'm feeling a lot more human and a lot more myself like i said at the beginning of this video i'm putting this out there in hopes that it's going to help someone else out who has similar problematic skin issues as I do. I'm really hoping that this helps someone out there. And I know that this heavy duty full coverage look isn't for everyone and it's not practical for everyone's everyday life. So if you aren't into the full coverage look, I will have another makeup look going up in a few weeks from now that's more of my like no makeup makeup, um, more natural kind of look and lighter coverage. So definitely keep an eye out for that video if this isn't your thing. If you guys want a video on how I'm clearing up my skin and kind of like my acne journey, I guess, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will film that video for you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I really appreciate it when you guys do it makes my day when I see that I have a new subscriber and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you all in my next video bye guys